Hello everybody, it is Stefan Joubert from the Stefan Joubert Guitar Academy and in this video I'm going to talk to you about chords and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the open chords of the guitar and we're going to take a look at moving those chords across the neck and enhancing them so that you can use that when you play rhythm or when you play some sort of lead rhythm based uh, something on the guitar and basically I'm just going to help you to have a deeper understanding of the major chords in general and how to enhance them and make them sound um, nicer in a sense. I mean, all chords are nice, but how to basically enhance your chords and how to make them sound very, very nice and make things sound quite sweet. So let us get straight into it. We're going to take a look on the neck together on how to do this. So now let us take a look at the basic open chords. So we've got a C major chord. The chord that we all know can also be played like this. And what I want us to do is to take the root note, the highest root note, in terms of the highest pitch, and move that up two semitones. So we've got a root note on string group two, five. So we're going to take the second string and move that up from, from the C to the C sharp to the D. And we're going to get a C add nine chord. We can also add the fifth up there. So basically what we're going to do together today is look at the add nine series. Um, we'll also look at the um, sus two chord. Let us just quickly talk about the difference between the two. An add nine chord, and we'll use C as the example, is going to be C, E, G, and that's going to be a root, a third, as well as a, a fifth, and then instead of the octave we're going to go to the second or the ninth. So, root, third, fifth, ninth. That's add nine. It's a major chord, it's got a major third, and we're adding the ninth in. That is the sound. Now, if we do the sus two, the difference is, I'll play a C major chord. I'm using a bar chord shape, I can also play it like this. So I've got my root, my fifth, I've got my octave, this is the 3, 5 position, and I've got my third. Then instead of the third, I will play a second. So I take the third, and I move that down two semitones. So this note comes down, and I get a C sus 2 chord, which is a root, a fifth, a root, a 2, and in this case, a doubling of a fifth. It's very lush as well, but it's quite ambiguous because it can be a major chord, it can be a minor chord. So when we play something like this, it can equally be, or oh, it's ambiguous because there is no third in that chord voicing. Again, I'll take it through. Root, so this is C, sus2, a root, a fifth, Root or octave, second, doubling of the fifth. Really beautiful sound, right? So that is the C, sus2, and this is the C add 9 chord. So we're going to look at both chords. Let us take a look at E. So that's the E major chord. I've got a root, a fifth, a root, a third, a fifth, and a root. Root notes lie on strings one, four, six. This is a one, four, six configuration. The root is on one, the root is on four, the root is on six. String group one, four, six means position one on the guitar. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my root note, go up a whole step or two semitones and I get my E major add nine chord. I can also play it over here using the internal root. Once again, if you want to try the chord yourself, just look at the description below. There is a link to a tablature that you can download with these chords. So that's the E major add ninth. Now let us take a look at G major. 
So first of all, let's talk about the string groups, where the octave or the root lies. We've got a root on string one, a root on string six, sorry, string three, and a root on string six. So a one, three, six configuration. Let me make it clear. It means the root note lies on the first string, it lies on the third string, and it lies on the sixth string. This is typically, this is a position five configuration. So G major belongs to position five. I'm not going to go into full details on how the positions work in this video today, as we are looking at enhancing the major chords and making them sus2 or add nine chords. So what are we going to do here? Well, we're going to take our root on string three, go up two semitones, and we're going to get, in this case, a G sus2 chord. Because we have a root, we have a fifth, we have a root, sorry, a, a second, we have a fifth, and a root. Yes, on that third string, we move the root up to a second. We can also open the B string. If I do that, we have a G major, add nine, because now we've got a root, on the fourth string, we've got the D, which is the fifth. Third string, we have the A, which is the two or the, or the nine. And then on the second string, we have our B. And then the root note. Now let us move to the D major chord. So standard D major, open chord. Four note voicing. Root. Fifth root, third. In this case, we're going to take the third down two semitones, and that will also reach to the two. So we go from the F sharp to the F to the E. So D, E, so that's a second. So we have a root, fifth, root, and the ninth. So sus two, or in this case, it's sus two because there's no third. So there's our sus two chord. I can add the third in the bass and then it will become a D major add ninth. It's quite lush. Beautiful sound, that beautiful sound. Next up, let's go to the A major chord. Quite a bland, bland kind of sound. We've got a root, fifth, root, third, fifth. It's a very good idea to talk about the names of the notes as well. A, E, A, C sharp, E. Now let us spice up this chord. Taking the second string, the B string, we have our C sharp there, which is the third. Or, if we talk about compound intervals, that would be the major tenth. Moving that down, two semitones, we get the A suspended second. Beautiful sound there. Then what we can do as well is take the root note and go up two semitones. So A major chord can play it like that or like that. The voicing is the way you play it is your choice. Root note there on the third string. Remember this is a 3-5 voicing. 3-5 string group 3-5 means position 4. So half step up, half step up. We get our second or our ninth there and here's the voicing. Difficult voicing to play can also be played like this. Excellent. So we've looked at the C major, we've looked at the G major, we've looked at the E major, we've looked at the D major, and we've looked at the G major. That is what they traditionally call the caged, caged system. Now I don't like the caged system because it doesn't talk about the positions. I much more prefer to refer to things 
in string groups. So when you've got C major, instead of just calling this your C shape, which is forever going to bound you to the world of being an open chord type guitarist, which is the last thing you want to be, it's much better to refer to this as a 2-5 or a third position. Because if you play that in E, you have your 2-5 over there. If you play that in A, 2-5 over there. So it's a more a position than a reference to the open chord. I think people who refer to the open chord are people who are more of a ba at a basic level and they keep referring to just the, you know, open chord. It's the only thing they've ever played. Nothing wrong with that, but it's good to get good education and understand the neck in its entirety. Now, what I'm going to do now is we're going to take A major and do A sus2 chords as well as A major add 9 chords across the neck. So, there's our A major. We'll do an A sus2 here. Then I'm going to use this voicing here, which is actually part of the G voicing. Because if I play that in G, it will look like this. If I move that up. It's really part of the G voicing or the 1, 3, 6 voicing. So there we have our A there. A major, add 2 over there. A major sus 2. Or A major, add ninth. Then we've got our A major. Uh, in this case, it's going to be an add ninth. Or if I play it like this, uh, so we take this, this is the voicing, you move that up there. We will actually have the, again, the add ninth over there. Over here we can have the sus2 voicing. So these are very, very beautiful lush voicings you can use. We could do the same for E. Use that open voicing with this one. Move that up to the string group 2, 4. Go to the 2-5 position, use that voicing, we can use that voicing, uh, actually this voicing should be like this, difficult one to play I would say, not for beginners, but you could do this one as well, um, yeah, use this voicing over here, use this voicing, use this voicing. Again all these voicings are available in the tablature if you look at the link below. So I'm just going to play around for you now so you can have a listen to how these chords will sound. So I'm going to use the key of E major. We're going to go between E major and A minor. And in E, we'll have our E major scale. When A, we'll have the A Lydian. It's all part of the same structure. So let us get straight into it now.
So thank you again for listening to this video and for spending some of your time with me. It's much appreciated. As always, um, if you can subscribe, that's great. If you can share the video with friends, that's great. Whatever you can do to just spread the word about you know what I'm doing in terms of teaching and helping people learn to play the guitar, that would be much appreciated. So in your own playing, definitely just go and you know play a C major chord and make it into a C add nine chord. You can use that to strum as well. You know to play like. You can use it in various scenarios, so you can use it to enhance whatever style you're playing. I mean, it's, you know, in jazz music as well, you've got these kind of more fusion-based add nine chords. I know that Herbie Hancock was a big uh, component of these sort of fourth voicing types of things. So it doesn't matter what style you're doing, if you're doing metal, if you're doing classical, blues, jazz, these add nines structures will just make your playing sound really really beautiful there's just something so lush about them you know that particular one is now you know it's got two octaves in it so it sounds really like kind of more out there that's more the kind of thing that someone like herbie hancock would use in his playing but you can absolutely use these voicings to enhance your playing and just to have fun with it. So you can write some songs with it, you know. The, the, the C major add nine is a beautiful chord to start a song with. You can just use those voicings at the top. Keep that going while you write your songs. Okay? Put a beautiful melody over something like that so use these chords try it out have fun with it and as always keep exploring the instrument keep searching and keep looking for you know for ways to get better at playing the guitar so once again thank you for spending your time and have a fantastic day ahead i'll i'm looking forward already to the next video where i'll be sharing some more interesting things around the guitar with you have a great day or great evening or wherever you are in the world bye bye